Hello, welcome, and today we're going to go through the complete collection, every game that Kenneth Dodrell has made. So this was his first game he ever made, uh, it took him one hour I believe to make, and that was it, that was the game. Um, he made that back, oh, I don't know, 2020 I think. Uh, this is next game, this is Top Down Shooter, uh, we've seen this type of game before. You have to kill all the zombies on the screen before getting to the next level. Um, this took him 10 hours to make back in 2020. Uh, I've seen this before, as I said, 28 waves later. Those type of games, there's heaps of these type of games on Steam. Even with his uh, first game, even though it didn't look like much, you could pad that. Ultimately, uh, there's many games on Roblox, uh, the easiest game on Roblox, uh, which has 90 endings, is basically just uh, that, just walking to a trophy and uh, finding all the different ways and secrets in an enclosed area. And he could have padded that, like he could have, uh, you know, um, had a secret opening in a wall, could have had made telekinesis and um, ported the exit to him. So this is the exterminator. Now this is where things get interesting. This thing on, can you see this? Oh, you can't answer anyways. Well, I'm going to assume you can see it. Kill everything. Everything. Every creature in there is a threat to our society. Do not hesitate. Shoot anything. As soon as you see them, I'll be checking on your progress. Um occasionally very good so as you've probably already told uh, the enemies don't actually move and the reason for this is because Kenneth Dodrill uh, did not know how to pathfind get um, the creatures how to pathfind properly he was still learning that that sounds pretty good but uh, as you can see I've touched the creatures and they didn't do any damage so very quickly you start to wonder, well, why am I killing them for? And ultimately that's the whole twist. There are three different endings to this game. Um, the first ending we're going to do is the one where we kill everything on screen. Ultimately, he wanted to produce the fat and it doesn't come off that well. Is that we're ultimately betraying our own family we are the creatures that we are killing but we're in a spacesuit and at the end of the game that spacesuit is uh, removed and we find out that we've just um, killed our entire civilization our entire family uh, in order to be part of another family basically that's what I tend to get is the message behind this. Oh, we nearly got to the ending here. Excellent. You were so good that we are picking you up so we can use you for other things. And there you go. We reveal that. We are the same creature of the ones that we've been killing. What happens if we don't kill anyone? You didn't kill any of them. Then you're just as worthless as they are. Stay down there. And that's it. I guess the ending isn't that bad. Because we haven't killed anyone. So we can still live with our family. What happens if we kill half of the people? Or half of the creatures... We hired you to do a job. Have fun down there being one of your own. So, we're now trapped there and we've killed half our family. And that's the ending of the game. Look, I get this sort of game. Um, I do find games. Now, this is his, his first 3D game. This is called You Are an Oven. It was done in 2021. And... Uh, We are an oven. 
that's the whole game now if this sort of thing interests you i uh, recommend a game on steam called the fridge is red <laughs> if you want to play a horror game and believe me the fridge is red is um yeah quite scary and uh, it's all about a fridge um this is kind of along the same principles it's kind of supposed to be creepy i guess it's uh ultimately if you wait and then you press the timer and you're behaving like a fridge uh, like a oven but uh, that can will just go on forever so eventually to progress the game forward you have to start pressing um, the meals ready when you're not supposed to that progresses the game forward where you'll start to see an abstract 3d sort of creepy vibe to everything going on i don't really get the ending to this or what the developer was trying to say um basically he's saying you're an oven time doesn't matter etc um yeah it does we're a default we're a uh, we've evidently got manufacturing problems and need to need to be taken back and uh, fixed um but anyway this is ultimately his first 3d game i don't get the vibe he was going for here and as you can see it starts to turn creepy from very visual aspects but what i was saying before is you'll notice with a lot of his games the ideas are there but they could be padded more um and as i said with the first, even the very first game what happens if he uh, what you jump to the portal and uh, get an achievement what happens if you wait for five minutes and see a black rabbit come through the wall and then go in there and find a whole bunch of key, uh, coins and then upgrade yourself for telekinesis and uh, move the portal to closer to you to reveal another secret uh, what happens if you eventually unlock all the secrets and become the boss of that room um time, as it says time means nothing uh so the next one we've already done my brother lives in a canyon we showed that before so we won't show that this one uh dungeon next now this is what he says is his greatest magnus opus at the moment and it goes back to sort of spectrum sort of graphics um you can easily get lost here i'm showing you the quickest way you open up the chest return back the way you came and you want to go into the door opposite straight away uh go down the corridor turn right turn left and you'll pick up a torch this will either let you see the coin or will let you see the key i'm not sure which one i uh, go back the way you came turn left go up till you come to another door and then turn right uh you find the coin straight away take the coin uh turn right turn left and follow that passageway to, uh, pick up the key so now we're going to open up the uh dungeon the present door to the dungeon there's going to be a guard there we're going to avoid the card and take the door that was the prison door i'm going to take the door on the left next to him this is the last item to pick up now there's three different endings here the key just opens up the prison door um so what we're going to do is first we're going to kill the guard You escaped the dungeon but are caught afterwards after a few days because you killed a guard. You die a slow death in prison. Mutes across the country continue to be tormented. By the way, you're a mute person. I forgot to add that. So that was that. What happens if we try to talk? We can't. So what happens if we bribe him with the coin? You leave the dungeon and make your way to a far away town. You find a band of mutes struggling to survive. Times are usually tough, but the townspeople are nice enough and sometimes feed you. So that's the second ending. What happens if we play the game with him? Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to challenge him to a game of tic-tac-toe. And this is the last ending this is uh pretty easy to s sort of fix 
So I don't think this is a Magnus Opus, but uh, you won the game. The guard is clearly very angry, but he respects the rules and lets you out. You remain hidden in the city for quite some time, but eventually move on to live in the wilderness. You feel happier here. So this is why the developer says this was his best game. Interestingly, this is my most successful game that I've made. In two days, it was near the number of views that my first commercial game has had for a month. I think this is largely due to capsule art. The capsule art has a character on it. People relate way more to actual characters than a logo. This game also made it to the front page of Itch, which was really cool to see. Okay, so the next game is Growing Apart. Um, I didn't mind this one. Um, look, the endings aren't varied. Uh, regardless if you try to be a bad person or a good person. Hi! Hey! What are you up to? Doing dishes, cleaning, etc. Thank you. Did you check the mail? I did. I'm setting up the plant now. Great job, hun. Thank you. No problems. Hey babe, how's the plant doing? Looks great, how are you? I'm doing great. Are we still hanging out today? Sure thing. I'm trying to be as positive as possible. Oh yay, I'll see you tonight then. But as I said, the ending's aren't different, they're exactly the same. Hey there. Hey, what's up? Just checking in. How's our plant doing? Doing good, growing, strong. Great. Next weekend is the party at Mum's and Dad's. Can you let me know if you are going soon? Go, uh, go. Yeah, will do. So you can see the plant is crying. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Pretty good. Oh, good. Can you cook dinner tonight? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Just getting pizza. <laughs> also, I was thinking maybe tonight we could, you know. Yeah, we can maybe try again tonight. Okay, sounds like a plan. Mm hmm. What are we doing? <laughs> Okay. Hey, you never answered me about the party. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I think I'll skip out. Okay. Do you think we can try again tonight? Nah, not tonight. Maybe another night. I've got no choice. I've got to be bad. <clears throat> okay, uh, still not sure? Question mark. Sorry, that were, was meant for someone else. I have the office party tomorrow, so I'll, I'll be home late. Uh, okay. You're the sweetest candy thing in all of the universe. Kath, are you drunk? Would you arrest me if I was? Yeah, you're drunk. I'll come get you. No, it's okay. Jason will drive. Hang on, who's Jason? Are you sure? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, see you tonight then. She's 
She evidently has a drinking problem now as well. Shown by this. Hey. There you are. I've been trying to call you all day. Yeah, I just got really drunk. I'll be home soon. Where the hell were you? We can talk when I get home. You can see we're breaking up. Hey! Hi. How are things? It's been a while. I've been pretty good. Got you out of my life, Catherine. Oh, good. I'm doing good too. Oh, good. I'm glad rehab, uh, Alcoholics and Honest is working. I heard you were moving soon. Yep, I'm moving tomorrow, actually. Getting as far away as I can from you. Exciting. Do you think we could meet up before you go? Uh, sure. Maybe around 12. You owe me $10 and a pizza. Works for me. Great. See you then. And here's the ending. We move. And the plant moves with us. But the plant keeps growing. You move on as most people do. The plant keeps growing. I think that's uh, very profound. Uh, so some of these games have a profound ending. Cog in the machine. Oh boy. Um... So this was released 2022. There's no video on this game, uh, so you're seeing this for the first time. I had to work out what was going on. This is an escape game. Hello. Welcome to your new job as CEO. To get started, please go to your computer. have a look outside oh yeah okay make money now make us money so we click on make money I guess you made one million dollars two million dollars three million dollars four million dollars wow this is easy five million dollars six million dollars seven million dollars there's got to be more to life than this sure Hang on, let's uh, the, the go back to your computer. Sorted by the AI. Don't walk around like that. Just stay in computer. Make us money. You have to make us money. We are an evil corporation run by robots. Make us money. As robots, we don't need money, but we want money. Uh, so this the only point of interest on this if you see the uh, HTTP you'll see the number 15319 that is the code Wow and there's another uh, hint there look under the phone oh my goodness I uh, had to work this out for myself there is no video so if you downloaded this game and you want all this stuff is free by the way you can uh, get, download the stuff for yourself uh, there's a little key just where that cord is it's very touchy but you have to get and press E on it and I've got the key now um, and then in the override switch type the code uh, 15319 and again the uh, evil corporation is going to make us money we're robots. We don't need it. But our master, whoever he is, wants it. Uh, we open up a wall, which we use the key. He's telling us, do not open that. Uh, 
And there's a self-destruct button where you can kill. Now you actually do have to press the button once to because there's two different endings and only when you press this the first time will he open up the elevated doors that will allow you to then choose whether you press the button again and kill him or just walk into the elevator doors. Now he waffles on for a while saying if you press that button you will murder me. I won't be able to. I'll die. He wants to live. So he's saying please I'm at your mercy. I'll let you out. I won't, I won't do anything. We no longer have to make, make him money. Just don't kill him. That's it. So uh, I'm going to press it once to force the... Um, and now he's saying he's going to let us live. I've opened the do doors to the elevator. Just go down and walk out the front. And let me live. That's it. All we have to do. No catch. He's just going to let us. He promises. With all, all his hearts. Oh, that's nice. Nice computer. And of course, do you really think I would let you live? Now he plummets the elevator down and kills us. Nice. <laughs> so when was this? This is 2022. Now there is a second ending to this game. We're now going to kill him. No, he dies. And you can't use the computer. Nothing works. Uh, you can use the elevator. But instead of going down, you actually go up. Which I think is a strange choice. The other strange choice is... You come outside and there's nothing for you to do than commit suicide. Jump off the side of the building. Which is weird. Uh, I thought there might have been a helicopter or something that, you know, however we came down. It's not much eye candy. You can see the buildings at the side there. But um, ultimately we're led to the same fate. We just walk off the edge. What's the point of that? <laughs> I don't get it. Thank you for playing. There are two endings to the game. And that's it. All right, so we've done Cog in the Machine. This is on Steam. This is Politician Simulator. Um, so this is done by, uh, I think, using the Lua program or something. So all we have to do is sign the bill. Uh, this is using the pen. No, we lost. Or well, you can press R to retry. I failed as a president. Ah, oh, there we go. We're, uh, we passed. Now we got to evade the lobbyists. Not sure how to evade the lobbyists. Can I just... No. Got to press R to retire. I guess just wait up the top here. USA. USA. We did it. Awesome. Vote for yourself and press any key to continue. So I can't actually vote for anything else but myself. <laughs> this is a dig at uh, American politicians, this for sure. All we have to do is press a key very quickly on the keyboard. We have to answer the phone. USA. Wow, that level was hard. <laughs> G 
Cheat on your wife, keep it typing. Oh, What's your number? Hey. That is the worst <laughs> uh, email that prez. Hey man, thanks for the tickets. I am so excited. Love, ah, uh, Iblis, Puff, what? Uh, ride the elevator. So all we have to do is just wait. Don't do anything. We're riding the elevator. This is what apparently presidents do. <laughs> okay. Uh, call your mum or else. Press any key to continue. Okay. That was that. Okay, now we got to do some push-ups. I couldn't see Joe Biden doing this. <laughs> Just saying. Take a chill pill. She explores the solar system. USA. It was a beautiful, warm summer night. Uh, discuss politician stuff with the dudes. Yeah, this was basically what happened with uh, Trump and Biden. Adopt the dog. You gotta press on this one down here. This is the Voice of America, Washington D.C. Signing on. You gotta delete all your uh, salty mail, sultry, I guess. The mail that would incriminate you as a president. Ah, zombies trying to come after me. I Thank don't understand this one. We're dressing a nutcase. What's that got to do with presidency? I have no idea. This one I'm going to edit out. Um, basically, we're paying for hookers. I've got children on my channel. I don't want to do that one. Um, so this one we just drink at a bar. And then we assassinate ourselves. So that's the developer's first time creating a humorous type of game. Now, straight after that, about a month later, uh, that was 2024, uh, he did another one using the same program called Ghost Simulator. This is on Itch.io. Um, he does a big write-up for this one. So what would life be like as a ghost? Let's have a look. We have to sign a waiver. We signed it. Sneak through the crowd without... I'm not sure why we're sneaking through the crowd. We're a ghost. Anyway, the whole point is as soon as the uh, bottom two eyes light up, then you have to stop. I guess it's like uh, red light, green light. There we go, done that one. Uh, I'm so all we have to do is type things on a keyboard I guess and then stop typing when he's about to look at us I'm not sure I couldn't get this understand this level but I passed it anyway here we have to steal a drink now you would think that you did place a straw or something like that but you actually have to place it here and again, you can only suck on the straw 
when he's not looking at us. Apparently ghosts don't like to be discovered for some reason. Uh, I thought this was funny. We have to do our taxes. Oh no, not this one. That one, you don't do anything. I don't even know what that is. Here, this one. I actually laughed at this one. This is my t me doing my taxes. Boo. 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 <laughs> Boo. 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 Boob. There's it. There's a, I don't know. And that's the end of the game. That was his second attempt at a humorous game. Uh, so what are we up to? Pilot Pacifist. I couldn't even get this game to run. Um, this is an absolute mess. This one is so messy in controls. Makes no sense whatsoever. Um, I tried my hardest to get it to work. Couldn't. Uh, not that I couldn't die. Evade the enemies until their bullets run out. Move mo uh, mouse in circle to aim shield. Arrows to move. So I'm guessing that's my shield. I hit. I get a minus 10 score for that. I don't know why. I now evade this thing and evade the bullets. Then I get another shield which fully encompasses everything. My arrow keys don't work. I can't actually move my ship. Uh, but occasionally my ship will just transport magically over to the other side. The ships can't damage me so I just endlessly gather score. Uh, this is why this is the third game in 2024 and the developer seems really really lost now. He's just throwing stuff out and he's not really going back. He, there's no self-discipline. He's not really um, padding and and going back to the stuff he's already created and adding layers and depth to these things. Uh, which everything, even the first game as I said, could be add, add a layer of depth to it to make it uh, profound for meaningful for people. So even though Nyx has been played more, I don't think it's his most meaningful game. Now this is a cute one called Little Planet. Uh, there can be some big problems with the controls. Um, the idea is to hold the left mouse button, flick it up, and then wait for it to stop before you flick your moon again. And the idea is to visit each planet in the solar system, spend time with it. Uh, it's cute. I, I like it. Two problems. One, uh, if you keep flicking without stopping, you will ricochet all over the place and the game will be basically impossible. So basically you just got to flick a little bit and then wait until you find the next ring and then follow that ring around until you find the next planet. Spend some time with that planet and then do it again. This game could have been meaningful if there was, you know, some sort of... Uh, I, I think if he uh, did a cartoon version of each planet in our solar system, uh, why it was sad. Let's say Mercury, um, he's lost his atmosphere because of the sun. Uh, spending a bit of time with him as a moon. Uh, yeah, Mars could have been a bit sad because he might lose one of his moons soon. Um, the Earth is sad because it's got a problem with uh, uh, people killing it. <laughs> uh, Venus is sad because... Um, he's never been able to see the uh, sun. You know, th those sort of things. And spending time with them could cheer them up. Uh, it would be educational, but here we just... It's a nice little gimmick where you're just going around, spending time, slowly find a different planet, 
and move on to the next one. Problem is, as I said, if you ricochet all over the place, you ain't going to find anything. So I'm going to fast forward to each planet so you can see each planet. Um, this is the developer's last game. So he made four games in 2024. Pilot Pacifist didn't work at all. Um, you've seen all 12. Um, I'm not sure why that... Is that supposed to be a, an asteroid belt or something? Like what side of planet is that? <laughs> a gaseous cloud. And again, we're not told anything about these planets. It could have been educational, could have been meaning. And again, the Kenneth Dodrill, he's created different ideas, but they just act, they lack that certain finesse, that certain meaningful element, which could really put him on the market there. And that's why the most meaningful game so far has been... Uh, my brother lives in a canyon, which we featured last video. Uh, he does excellent sound in music and everything else. So that's it guys, that's his complete work. And that was it. Well, until next time, bye for now.